I will be reading A Sewing Sensation by William Rivera, which is a part of your I Ready lesson. Juan sat on the floor of his mom's sewing room with one eye on his soccer magazine and one eye on his mother. His mother was making a wedding dress for their neighbor's daughter, and Juan could see that the dress was going to be beautiful. Juan's mother had designed and sewn dresses for many of the girls in his town, and Juan felt proud that people wanted to wear his mother's creations on their special days. Juan glanced up again from his magazine and asked, Is your machine running okay, Mom? I think it's making a weird noise. Mom hardly looked up and said, I think it's working just fine. It's wearing and humming away, just as always. Juan looked disappointed, but he went back to pretending to read his magazine. A few minutes later, he asked, Do you want me to sew the hem of the dress so that you can rest your fingers? I've watched you do it millions of times, so I could do it if you, really, if you are really tired. This time, Juan's mother studied Juan's face carefully. You know, I could use a break, she said, and we need some new pillowcases. I've got the pattern cut out, and all you'd have to do is stitch up the sides. Juan dropped his magazine and was sitting in his mom's sewing chair in no time. Juan's mom carefully removed the dress she was working on, showed Juan how to thread the sewing machine, and brought him some pillowcases to sew. In his enthusiasm, Juan stomped on the foot pedal and almost sewed over his finger. Then he remembered the patience that his mother always showed, and he slowed down. His seams were straight and even. Juan had a huge smile on his face when he looked over his shoulder at his mom. I can't believe you sewed that so perfectly on your first try, Mom said, patting Juan on the back. It took me years of patience to perfect my technique, and you're already a sensation. Why don't you try making a pillow for your room? You can design it, and I'll show you how to make the pattern and cut it out. Juan's face lit up, but then... A dark shadow seemed to pass over it. I think I should probably just go outside and kick the ball with my friends. To himself, he muttered, what would Anthony think if he saw me at a sewing machine as, his he as he headed outdoors? Mom didn't say anything as she watched Juan's reaction, but that night at dinner, she and Juan's dad began talking about a local fashion designer who had moved to Dallas and become a very successful clothing designer. Juan pretended he wasn't listening, but the scowl slowly vanished from his face. Many of the best fashion designers are men, Juan's dad continued. They can make a lot of money for their designs. After dinner, Juan got out his notebook and began sketching. Then he showed his notebook to his mother, and she nodded approvingly. Together, they headed to the sewing room for pattern tracing paper and scissors. Juan cut out two large round pieces of cloth and began stitching them together, leaving one section open. He turned the cloth inside out, stuffed the opening with cotton batting, and then sewed the open section. Finally, he used fabric markers to add details. He placed his finished creation on his bed. The next day, Anthony came over to kick the ball with Juan, but it started to rain. The two headed to Juan's room to watch soccer videos instead. When Anthony saw the new oversized soccer ball on Juan's bed, he asked Juan where he got it. Juan grinned at his friend and said, Mine is one of a kind, but 
but I think I know how to get you one that's almost like it.